Amen. Amen. All things in the heavens, all things on earth will be captured in Christ. What does that mean? Christ will have to feel all things. Christ will have to do what? The restoration of all things speaks of Christ feeling all things. Everything that fell from the heavens to the earth and beneath the earth. Christ again was feeling all of them. Why must Christ feel them? He feels them so that they can manifest Him. Wow. When they manifest Him, then the kingdoms of, our, of this world have become the kingdoms of our God. Yeah. Now, marriage is inclusive. What did I say, please? Marriage. I didn't hear church say it again. Marriage, marriage. is inclusive. Uh, marriage must also have Christ feeling it. Yeah. And marriage manifesting Christ. Even though they have what you call moral rectitude in place, yeah. what you call success in marriage by the standard of men, before the Father God, that marriage is a total flaw. Yes. Why? The marriages of the unsaved are run by the authority of Satan. Now, they understand not the authority of God, which is manifest through Christ Jesus. Christ has not feel that marriage. So they are not manifesting Christ in any way. They are manifesting self. Manifesting what? Self. When you manifest self, self is the root to all sins. Wow. Self is the root to all sins. Self has to do with the fallen nature. Which is witchcraft. That's it. Listen to me. Marriage is a means to an end. Marriage is an end in itself. Whenever you turn your marriage to an end, you have entered into witchcraft. Marriage is a means to the revelation of the Christ. And how do you reveal Christ? I said that's a few minutes, am I correct? Checking your time. Amen. Amen. Marriage is the revelation of the Christ. How will your marriage reveal Christ? Ask me another question. What to go? How will Ask me again. How will I think I'm going to run it up here. Just a picture. Watch me. Your marriage is going to reveal Christ. Only when you begin to catch the revelation of Christ. That's it. Listen to me. The revelation of Christ is the foundation, is the source to a successful marriage. Now, if you don't have that revelation of Christ one-on-one, -on -one, husband and wife, passing across to the children, your marriage will lack the fulfilling of God's eternal plan, which is manifesting Christ. But how do you go about it? Listen. It happens by the fruit of the Spirit. By the what? What you call love. Let me hear say love. Love. Let me hear love. Love. Now what is love? Love is the spirit of sacrifice. Tell your neighbor that. Love is the spirit of sacrifice. And sacrifice is the source of divine redemption. Listen church. Sacrifice is the source of divine redemption. Redemption is the buying back from the slave market of sin. And all is fruit. Now, until you catch the revelation of Christ, and the Christ feels you, your marriage is not in that light that is a redeemed marriage. Your marriage is brought in sin and all its fruits. But once you allow Christ to have the preeminence in you as a husband, in you as a wife, in your children, then the fruits of sin, the fruits of unrighteousness, the fruits of Satan, his pattern of authority witchcraft, will be totally out of your marriage. And then your marriage will bring in glory and praise yeah. to God. Glory. I pray for you today. Amen. That your marriages are fulfilling God's eternal plan. Amen. That you and your husband are cooperating where well. there's not the big deal about marriage. If your marriage is all about understanding, and it's understanding for understanding, that's witchcraft. Yes. If you marry just to make a point that you are not married, and you don't know the purpose why you got married, which is to manifest the Christ. That's witchcraft. <laughs> You're practicing witchcraft. That's it. Why? Because I married her for me. For no. Me. You married yourself for his eternal plan. Wow. Not Glory. just for you. First, you come in at the secondary place. That's it. And the reason why you are in the secondary place is because you are fulfilling this first place. Is it 
Wonderful child in your home. 